Hello and welcome to our second basic montage tutorial. We're glad you're here. Now in the second tutorial we'll be giving you an overview of some of the basic features in montage then we'll take you right into writing your first scenes in montage. We've got a lot to do so let's get started. Now in terms of the big picture think of montage as being a Swiss Army knife. It doesn't just help you write your scripts and your screenplays, but it also covers virtually every other aspect of writing the script from inception to sale. Now what do I mean by that? Let me show you. Let's look over at the left hand side of the program which is the view pane. We'll breeze through some of these views and then go into more depth in an upcoming tutorial. Now this is the script view and this is where you can see what you're writing in a page view format. Now one of the outstanding features in Montage is Scenes View which helps you to focus on writing your individual scenes. It's a souped up version of the old school index cards. By the way, don't worry, if you write a scene in Scene View, it will show up in Script View as well. Now this is Outline View where you can create the backbone of your script. It also serves as the place that you'll store your revisions which we'll cover in an upcoming tutorial. Now this is the characters view where you can add your characters as well as create their backstories. Now to add a character, just hit the big green insert button and add your character. You can also change the character's name here as well. Now this is the view which is all about location, location, location. Now locations view works the same way as characters view. You can add your locations, descriptions, and even pictures. It's pretty cool stuff. As you can tell there are other areas of the software as well but we're going to hold off on those until a future tutorial. Now there's one more cool thing I want to show you before we start writing. Relax, this is not the blue screen of death in that other operating system. This is full screen view where you can focus on your writing instead of having all your icons staring at you waiting for you to finish your masterpiece. You can change the type in the background to whatever you want in the preferences section underneath the montage menu. To exit full screen view, hit your escape key. Let's start a new script. Now the first thing you need to do is to create a new document. You can either choose a new document or choose from a selection of pre-formatted templates. For now we'll use the standard blank document. Now for a screenwriter, especially a new screenwriter, this is probably the most terrifying sight in the world, a blank page. Let's fill it with some words, but in order to do this we need to have a quick discussion of script elements. Now in Montage there are 12 script elements from which to choose depending on the template you're using. Now you can select the elements in two locations, either in the format menu under Element, or at the bottom of the montage window. Finally, you can hit your enter key at the beginning of a particular element to bring up a list which also provides you with a list of shortcut keys of those elements inherent within your template. Okay, for our purposes today I've zoomed in just a little bit more so that we can see what we're typing. Now 99% of the screenplays that have ever been written share the opening two words and those are fade in. Now those are considered to be a general element so let's take care of that. Next let's hit the enter key. Okay. 
Okay, let's add in a scene heading. Now if we're not in a scene heading element, we'll need to change it. First, you have to decide whether your action is going to take place in the interior or the exterior of a location. Let's make our opening scene an exterior shot. Type the letter E. This will give you an autocomplete where you can just hit your tab key to complete the typing. Now let's give the scene heading a location. The great thing about Montage is that once you type the location, Montage will remember it so that you don't have to type the whole thing again. Also, if you've already listed a location in the Locations view, it will pop up in an autocomplete menu. You'll only need to hit the first letter and it will bring up a list of locations with that be So let's enter the location. Now we have to indicate the time of day. To do this, press your spacebar, then type a dash, and then hit your spacebar again. Then type in either D for day, or N for night, or E for evening, and the autocomplete will come up. Choose what you want to use and hit your tab button. Finally, hit your enter key. After you hit your enter key, you'll then be taken to the action element where you'll enter your description of the setting along with any accompanying action. Now as you can tell I've added in an extra scene to flesh things out more. Now it's time to add some dialogue and Neville desperately needs to say something. First we need to identify the character who's speaking. So hit your tab key and type the name Neville. Now let's hit our enter key to go down to the dialogue element and give Neville something to say. Now let's switch to an action element. Hit your enter key. If the element is not an action element, we'll need to change it. Now the Pygmy King needs to say something in subtitles to his Pygmy Queen. To do that, we're going to need the character name, a parenthetical, and then the dialogue. Next we need to add the parenthetical. Hit your tab key and then enter your parenthetical direction. Now if you notice at the bottom of the window, there's a little guide to show you which element you'll go to if you hit the Tab key or the Enter key. In this case, we want to go down to the Dialog element, so hit your Enter key and then complete the dialog. Let's add something else, a dramatic pause, which is usually referred to as a beat, followed by more dialog. This is a parenthetical, so hit your Tab key and then type the word beat. Finally, hit the Enter key and complete the dialog. And that's the end of the scene. Okay, so that's it for our tutorial. For more information, check out our website. But for now, happy writing.